Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to discuss how to open the SQL query interface of Microsoft Access and execute queries. We're going to begin with a blank database. So once you open Microsoft Access, click on New and then click on Blank Database. Okay, it's going to have an area where they have file name where you create a name for your database and we're just going to go with database 8 since we're just doing this for testing purposes. Then click on the create button. Now Microsoft lets you easily create tables without using SQL but in this case we want to create a table and add a record to the table using strictly SQL script. So to find the interface to type our script, we're going to click on Create. And then you'll see a button called SQL Query. Click SQL Query. And then there's going to be a box that comes up saying Show Tables. We won't need this box at all, so you'll click Close there. And here is our interface to type queries. So we're going to create a table called Customers. And here's our script. So it says create table customer and then we have all of our columns here. So next you click the run button. And now our table is created. Now to see the table you could click on it over here where it says customer but we're using only SQL script. So we're going to use SQL script to open the table. So we're going to delete our old script that we had here for creating the table. And we have select star from customer which means open the customer table. So we click run and now you'll see that the table is open on the screen and it doesn't have any records in it. So now we're going to add one record to our customer table. And again we're going to use SQL script so for our next query we hit create again then we go to SQL query button and again remember we close this box because it's not needed for what we're doing and now we're going to do an insert statement that inserts one record so we have insert into the customer table these columns which are in our table and then these values so we'll end up with one record for the customer table. So we click run to run this insert statement and you're going to get a message that says you're about to append one row which is one record. Click yes to that message and now the customer table should contain one record. So we're going to delete this script and this is so we don't have to click create again. We're just going to use the same tab, the Query tab, to open the table. So again we're going to type select asterisk from customer and that's going to open the customer table. We click run and now we see our table and our table has one record in it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to learn more, check out my free hands-on SQL tutorial on the channel. And also I have SQL certificate courses in the About section of the channel. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.